Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome for all you guys that are in real estate, all you investors out there looking for self-storage, specifically distressed self-storage deals, looking for a bargain in today's crazy market, you're going to want to hang around for a few minutes to watch this short video. I know that I get bombarded with phone calls from investors all the time. Hey, do you see any distressed self-storage facilities? Do you see any stuff that's not operating properly that we could step into it? Uh, we get a lot of investors that are tired of chasing just the traditional leads or trying to drive by. There are so many opportunities available out there and people are like, oh, I can't find deals. I can't find deals. Well, you know what? There are deals out there. Um, many people did not know that right now there are over 1,300 different distressed self-storage facilities all across the country. Now, people ask me, Scott, well, how do you, hell do you know that? Well, we've got a little secret. We've got a little special backdoor pass that can help you take you directly to those deals, can help you identify these deals. And what if I could show you a way, not only to find these distressed deals in just a few minutes, but how to be able to pull up the contact information for the bars, the banks, the service scenes, the owners, the sponsors. How about the financials? On the deal as well, rent rates. What if I could share with you the behind the scenes servicing notes, what's going on with council, what's going on with these specific assets, where, when, how much is owed, how are the, the, the cash flows rolled into it? Well, what am I talking about? I want to share you with an amazing tool uh, that has actually revolutionized the way that self storage investors target deals and you know, find deals, operate them, review the numbers, actually help them raise capital as well at the same time with some of the great reports. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Cred IQ, ladies and gentlemen. Cred IQ is an amazing tool. It's been around for a few years. These guys over here at Cred IQ just do an amazing job helping you identify commercial real estate data, the analytics, the valuation. And so we're honored to have uh, two guys on here today, Shane Beeson, also uh, Mike Haas joined us as well here to talk about the power of Cred IQ and, and why this is a tool that should be in every self-storage or commercial real estate uh, tool belt. What, what's going on, Shane? How are you doing today, hey, bud? Hey, Scott. Thanks for having us. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Tell us a little about Credit IQ. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, hey, everybody. Shane Beeson, head of sales uh, at Credit IQ. We are a commercial real estate data analytics and valuation platform. As Scott mentioned, we launched a few years ago back in uh, 2019. So we've been around a few years now, kind of still a little bit of a new kid on the block, but uh, we're making a lot of traction. And to put the kind of the parameters around our database, we're tracking a little over $2 trillion of commercial real estate debt around the country. Uh, that's going to be comprised of the entirety of the conduit CMBS universe, uh, as well as on the multifamily side, the agency stuff. So Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, Freddie Mac, Small Balance, Ginnie Mae, as well as CRE CLOs and single borrower large loans. That's kind of the parameters of our world. Um, you can search the database, as Mike's going to show you here in a second, um, based on the appetite for property type. Self-storage, obviously, is, is one of the top six in our database, you can search geographically by city, state, county, building size, loan size, loan status. And then once you generate your list, the power to get down to the asset level, like Michael show you, and, and to see those detailed line item financials, the revenues and expenses, contact information for the owner, who to contact, who to call, who to email, uh, a list of comps for each property, and a really cool interactive valuation piece that, uh, that Mike and our other co-founder, Bill, came up with. That's really adding a ton of value to our clients. Uh, so with that, I will turn it over to one of our co-founders, Mike Haas, who will jump in, click around, and uh, show you how easy it is to generate a list of leads of distressed uh, self-storage properties. Mike, take it away. All right. Thanks for that intro, Shane. And thanks for having us, Scott. Anytime, man. Yeah, you, know, you guys, this is such an amazing tool that you've put together. When you guys approached me a few months ago, I was like, oh my God, this is awesome. So got to share it with our audience. Screaming from the hilltops. <laughs> That's right. Love it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, excited to show uh, a quick demo here on how Credit IQ works. And um, as you log in here, you start off on the homepage and you hit the browse button, which brings you to the main search panels. You can search by property type, location, so that's city, zip, county, state. You can do more than one at a time. You can also uh, do a keyword search that picks up anything in the, in the street address or the property name or the deal name that it's in. And then you can narrow it down by building size. So for self-storage, we use square footage. Um, that's how our data comes in. Um, we will sometimes get information on the number of units, but for self-storage, it's best to use square footage. Um, which I'll show you in a little bit. And then you can narrow it down by original balance, 
current balance and maturity date. And then tenants is usually for uh, office, retail, and industrial, not self-storage, obviously. And then we have the loan status feature, which um, provides updated information on the status of the loan, whether it's in distress related to financials, uh, if it's delinquent. We have all the uh, major buckets here. We have loans that are on the servicer's watch list that might not be in in that might not be delinquent, but they're in some sort of distress, um, whether it's low occupancy, property damage. And then once it gets into significant distress, it gets transferred to the special servicer where it needs to work out their loan. And that's where the, some great opportunities lie. And then we have the foreclosure, foreclosure properties, REO, performing matured and non-performing matured. So let's do a quick demo on self-storage specifically. Click here, hit apply. Um, as you can see here, these are our page results. Each page has about 100 properties. You can also toggle to list view. As you can wow. see here, there's a ton of properties here. So let's narrow it down by distressed only. That'll, that'll auto check box all these buckets, hit apply. Now we're down to about 1,200, which uh, matches up with uh, your data there, Scott. And your, uh, right. Okay, slide. Um, and so it's a lot to uh, look through. If you want to hone in on a specific market or state, let's do Texas for this example. All right, now we're down to about 300. You can zoom in on the map, do a little hover move. Um, I like to look at the, the list view the best here, and then... Um, Basically, the list view provides a lot of detail all at once. You have your address, your address, your property size. Scroll across here. Year built, MSA, the sub market, county, original balance, current balance, um, loan status, who the sponsor is, originator, loan purpose, origination date, maturity date, original term. Ton of information all the way to the right here. So just hopping into a quick example, what do we got here? We have uh, Lake City Storage. This one is um, League City, Texas, which is in the Houston MSA. I'm from Philadelphia, so I'm not too familiar with these uh, these locations. League City is uh, is south of uh, Houston, Texas, actually. So okay, so. quick uh, handy map here. Got you right there. Yep. So to look at um, some of the summary details. We have the loan name, the original balance, when the loan was issued. So this one's a couple of years old. It was issued in 2019 as a refinance. The original LTV at 68.1%. The originator, this is uh, looks like it's Morgan Stanley. Um, and then we, we get updated information every month. So as the loan pays down, we have that updated here. The loan's paid down to 14.4 million. It's listed as current, but it is distress. So we'll look into what's going on exactly. Here's the borrower name. Um, a lot of information on this summary screen. And then to drill in, you walk your way across the top here into the various tabs, clicking into the loan tab, even more loan, uh, loan information. We get the loan terms, interest rate, interest only, expiration date. A lot of times that's when distress happens when that that loan converts to principal and interest, that DSCR will drop below break even. Um, it's an opportunity there. And then we have amortization type, origination date, maturity date, um, who the master servicer is, the special, and all of the prepayment terms. Here is, uh, which is key for distressed opportunities, the loan status. This one is considered distressed because it was added to the servicer's watch list in February of 2020, and it received a forbearance, probably related to COVID. Um, mm -hmm. So just, we get information straight from the servicer about the story on the asset, why it's distressed, how they're working it out. And that's where you really find some interesting details. So just quickly it looks like a, Yeah, it looks like there's a fire on this one based on the comments there for you. Okay. Provide there, yeah. <clears throat> yep. And then it gets, so these servicer commentaries get updated every month and it kind of builds a, a history of uh, what's going on. Down here, you have the payment history. So it did get, 
you know, as as bad as almost 90 days delinquent. And then moving on, uh, here's the property tab, picture of the asset, some uh, location details, the valuation. These are the appraised values, MA, MAI certified, um, 22 million, 51 bucks a square foot at a 6.2 cap. Down here, we have a defeasance table. Uh, we have a partnership with Waterstone. This um, accurately calculates the defeasance cost to prepay a, pro, a, prepay a loan. Evaluation, I'll get into that at the end. Um, the financials, here are um, what Scott mentioned earlier on the call. We have the borrower's operating statements, all of their financials, their line items. We have their most recent occupancy. Um, and we every time they submit a financial, we capture that. As you can see here, we have three statements. Uh, the most recently provided was at a three month statement as of March, 2021. Um, looking back at the most recent full year, 2020, the property is at 95% occupancy. Here's the base rent, dollars per square foot, um, which is basically the self-storage asking rent. Um, and then you have the real estate taxes, insurance, utilities, repairs and maintenance, all the line items. And this is what really fuels our valuation model. If you wanna do a quick high level look at the financials, we have um, the revenue expenses, NOI, net cash flow, DSCR, as you can see here, the DSCR has been trending down. Maybe that's one of the reasons uh, for the distress as well as the, the, the fire of the property. Um, clicking into the comps tab. So the, the comps tab pulls in all of the surrounding properties that the system deems as comparable to the subject property. And we pull in 25 of the most comparable. So you can quickly benchmark the market, see how your property is performing. Um, as you can see here, here's some more properties. We rank them zero to 10, 10 being the most comparable. You can hit the drop down thing for some more information. Here's underwritten occupancy, estimated rents, expenses, all right there. If you want to drill in even further, click into that. Here's the property, same information, loan, financials, comps. Um, so back to our subject property. Um, another, mo another very important aspect that Credit IQ provides is the borrower, owner, the owner of record, the entity, the entity's address, the owner of record's address, the borrower's emails, up to two emails, and four phone numbers. And then we even have the master servicer, um, their contact, who the bank is, and then the special servicer. So these are the people you'd want to call directly and work out the loan or, or acquire or make, make a deal happen. Um, clicking into other details, even more information. There's about 150 data points here, a lot of information. Um, and then moving back to the valuation tab, this is uh, a pre-filled, uh, direct cap and DCF value where it automatically pre-fills the uh, most recent 12 month statement for the direct cap. It applies a market capitalization rate and arrives at a value of 18.5 million. As, a, as an end user, um, clients have the ability to adjust anything in green under MyQ and that will calculate your own value. So Credit IQ is the pre-filled system generated or Credit IQ analyst. Um, calculated value. And then the MyQ is the client side. Um, so if you disagree with our current occupancy for the DCF approach, you want to change that to 85%. Click that. This will update on the fly. 13.9 mm -hmm. million. If you really think the cap rate in this area should be closer to 8.5, hit that. It'll calculate again. And then down here, you have the weighted average effective rent. You have the market vacancy rate. You have your lease up assumptions. And then you have all the operating expenses that are pre-filled from the in-place historical financials. Uh, the credit IQ pulls in the in-place. And then my Q, once again, this is your ability to change. You want to change the full tax amount to 250000 Click that there. It'll get updated. 10.5 million. Once you like your value, hit 
save a version of it. And that will generate this PDF report that I'll show you. And one thing I forgot to show, all of our calculations are fully transparent. You have your 10 year DCF holding period, all of your cash flows, your base rents, expense reimbursements that are not uh, really for self storage, but that's why it's zero. Um, you have your expenses, real estate taxes, insurance, all the line items, then you arrive at your net cash flow. Um, so going back to the reports, let the valuation re report generate. I love that reports are easy to use and you've got the comps report and then also the property report there too all at once, which is just awesome. Yeah. So this is the, uh, the valuation report here. This first page, second page is um, subject property, all the, the basic info, address, then you have your loan information. Your value is in the top right, 10.48 million, 24 bucks a square foot. Your rent and lease assumptions, expense assumptions, investment variables, and the, and the service or commentary that's pulled in. And then here's all the math behind it, all the cash flows. You can see that. And then we have the comps report, which pulls in all the surrounding properties and a quick three pager. Let that generate. Same thing. Here's the number one comp, your subject property, number one comp, two, all the way down here. So, yeah, that's. Uh, that's Credit IQ and uh, for searching for uh, distressed self storage. That's awesome. That is awesome. Now, what's the best way for folks to uh, take advantage of this amazing tool, get signed up for it? Yeah, you come right up here in the upper right um, and hit subscription. And we have a couple different tiers. And we also offer a free seven day trial, full access. Um, we'll how that works is you click this green button, brings you to this screen, just write in your work email, your name and your company, and we'll get you activated and, and set up right away. That's so awesome, man. I, I mean, just think about this, uh, you know, seven days, uh, try it out, play with it, understanding the value of it, even the monthly cost on this, so affordable for you guys that are looking to do the amazing deals out there. Just absolutely blown away. Once again, it's cred IQ. It's cred-iq.com there guys get signed up today uh just an amazing tool that will revolutionize the way that you approach distressed deals or self-storage deals or any other type of commercial real estate out there but guys thank you so much for sharing today man thank you scott yeah thanks for having us scott appreciate it